Hello everyone, welcome back to Conspirocracy. Alright, we've just arrived in Chikenistan. Let's go check it out. So I think what it said last time I played was that I needed, what, food and water, I think? Let's see if it says that in my quest log, if you can call it that. Mm. Nope, actually it doesn't say I need that. It does say I'm still tear gassed, though, which is strange because I'm actually not coughing or anything. World Airlines. They didn't exactly blow their budget on branding, did they? <laughs> I guess not. We're World Airlines. We fly the world. In a plane. From country to country. In, in, a, in a plane. I couldn't afford the rent on one of these right now. I couldn't afford... Hmm, looks like there's something next to the sign. Looks like there's something right there. Aha! Welcome! A water pump. Let me guess, no water comes out. This pump is missing enough parts to be useless. Oh. It looks like this old water pump hasn't been used in a while. Okay, so what does it need? Hmm. I don't know, it seems to have the handle. And what do I have on me? Key, foil wrapping, certificate of life, passport, bus pass. Not too useful. Something tells me the foil wrapping won't help here. But a shovel might come in hand. Maybe I can unearth some hidden treasures in the sands. It's a giant map. What am I supposed to do with it? Touch it. Feel it. Hmm. Mm. According to this map, the government archives are located at the pinnacle of a very tall mountain in the east, labeled Zara. If I'm going to find my birth certificate, that seems to be a good place to start. Guess I've got a hike ahead of me. Pretty sure that would be trespassing. No, just barge it. They're only huts. I mean, they're not real homes. A hangar. Wait, that's a hangar? It looks like a barn. In fact, what kind of a plane could even fit inside of there? That aircraft hangar looks a lot like a barn. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. Oh, no smash now. Okay, then. In fact, I find this entire runway very implausible. If you look at the size of this aircraft, just think of how much room, how long the strip would have to be to be able to actually slow down. And take off, for that matter. There's no way that plane slew, slew down. There's no way that plane slowed down on this stretch. You know, I actually like that. That should be it. That should be a word. Slew. So yeah, I slew down the other day. I like it. Looks like a grave. Okay, well, I'm guessing I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up one of these pathways. I can't even read the freaking sign. Ooh, a store. Hello. Soft drinks. Glenuki. 
broke Chev Aberlurki. Oh man, I'm gonna die out here without it. Can't he just look the other way? Well, I could try to suffocate him with my foil wrapping. Hmm. Nah, there's gotta be a simpler way. A less violent way. Kinda looks like my frying pan back home. Well, to be fair, all frying pans kind of look the same, and I don't mean to be racist. Full bottles of sparkling water. They're probably a little warm, but exactly what I need right now. It's a bottle of vinegar, because this store isn't weird enough. It's a very old camera. On closer inspection, it appears to be missing the shutter release. It's broken. I might be able to get it cheap. Mm, how cheap though, because I'm pretty sure I literally have no money. Yeah, I literally have no money on me. How much for the calendar? It's a caldera. Mubi giblet. <laughs> Mubi giblet. Understood. Ooh, a cat shaped clock. It's a gaudy cat shaped clock. Looks like a box of salt. It's a detailed print of a regal looking rooster. <laughs> Alright, so there's salt and vinegar and a frying pan. I'm guessing I'm gonna be like baking something or something of the sort. On TV? It's a televisor! A loop giblet. I wonder how many customers this person gets. I wouldn't think very many. I guess they can't get cable out here. Also, I can't help but notice that he doesn't really have many common items, like food. I mean, I doubt someone is going to think, Oh, you know what, today, I need to pick up a cat-shaped clock from the store. I'm just going to go out into the sands and go get it. Hmm, can I tweak it? Make his reception bad? That was pretty warm. Must be all the sun out here. You know, I kind of want to have him keep burning his hands just for the fun of it. Okay, I'm happy now. Hmm. Maybe his reception will be bad and he'll come out to check it. Is this foil going to do something? There. I've lined the satellite dish with the reflective foil. Oh, wait. Wait, what am I doing with this? I don't think what I'm doing with this has anything to do with the TV. Um, right, reflective foil lined dish. I guess I can move it back down. Maybe it's gonna catch something on fire? One of the boxes? I don't know, something tells me I'm doing this too soon. I'll come back to that. Anything on TV? Right, giblet, giblet. Gotcha. Ooh, wait a minute. Hold on, you mentioned something about the camera being cheap. How much for the camera? Lots of giblets in whatever he's saying. How much for the cam? Hmm. I'm looking through the list of words that I wrote down to translate from Chicanistan to English. None of them are popping up. I've got like Shrev or something, Lursky, Rock Clicken or whatever, Wooston. Hmm. Okay, time to leave. Wait a minute. There's a couple things I didn't look at. 
It looks like it was state-of-the-art 15 years ago. Hey, take a kernel, leave a kernel jar? I guess kernels of corn are what pass for small change around here. Ooh, I'll take one. Can I take more? I have some kernels already. Oh, but I want more. Okay. Mm. Can I give him some kernels for the broken camera? I don't think these kernels are worth very much. Neither is that camera. I'm not going to throw corn at it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Right, maybe I can feed some chickens or something? Right, this has got to go somewhere. What the hell? Um. Right, my hunger and thirst are going up. What if I go down here? Does it make any difference, or is it just the same screen? Okay then, time to move fast. This looks like, uh, well, water? Or something? No? Okay. I think I'm about to die or something. Your movement is slowed while you're this hungry. Okay. <laughs> this game sure changed a bit. Hm, what is that? This statue makes me feel uncomfortable. It's rather large. The Valiant Chicken. Must be one of their idols. Hello. What is with the color of your skin? You look... gray. It looks like you're made out of cement. What a strange person. I need to save. He looks quite friendly. I wonder what he has. Do you speak English? Yes, a little. Excellent. What is this statue? This is sacred statue of Gama. Gama is the ancient Chikanistani god of luminosity. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> it is said that at night, when Gama sleeps, helpful spirits stand over their ancient bones. Tell me about Chikanistan. Understand, my friend that life under Capricius IV was brutal. But I fear that under Rusti, our people have replaced one kind of tyrant with another. Tell me more about Gamma. Before Earth and Sea and Heaven were created, all things wore one aspect, to which we gave the name of Menu. Menu is all around us, if you know where to look. Legend tells that Gamma God of Luminosity sprung forth from the loins of Menu. Gama is a favorite subject with the poets. He is represented as the friend of mankind. Okay then. Tell me about Chikanistan. Understand my friend, but I. Okay then. Talk to you later. Lada Ada. Mm, what? <laughs> okay, uh, do you want some corn? It's not, surely it's not disrespectful to just throw corn at people, right? It's gotta be like a sign of respect, you know? Embrace your inner chicken. Peck for the kernels on the ground. Actually, they'd probably just get lost in the sand, wouldn't they? They'd blend in. That's unfortunate. I leave. Take me away from here, please. There we go. Okay, what is this? This looks like slime or something. <laughs> you have died. Well, maybe somebody will find my tablet. 
Looks like it survived longer than my flesh did. I've already turned to bone. Uh, I don't even have time to get anywhere, do I? Okay. Oops. I just clicked outside of the game. So either I do need to get a drink of water here. Or. Or I just need to go to the right place. And nowhere else. Because it looks like if I stop. It looks like I have enough time to make it to one place and one place only. I guess so let's go ahead and do this again and then save. There. Okay, how can I distract him? Hello? Guess not. Hmm. Hello? I guess not. Let's make clucking noises. <laughs> I think he thinks I'm making fun of their leader. <laughs> I got an achievement for that. I think it wasn't terribly effective. But I'm going to save it after that achievement nonetheless. Okay. How much for the vinegar? Tell me something, Giblet. Yep, movie Giblet. Ah, always the Giblet. Okay, let's try going somewhere else. I mean, I'm just thinking, what can I do with a shovel? I don't know. I mean, it looks like a freaking well, but I can't seem to go to it. This is the disturbingly long pathway. At the end of it, it's probably my death. Got a couple more seconds to live. And... Oh. What the hell? That is a big-ass hyena. Also, it looks like it's wearing boots. Um. Well, if I don't die from thirst, I'm probably going to die from getting mauled to death by a gigantic hyena wearing boots. Have some corn kernels. It doesn't look like a herbivore to me. Well, those aren't herbs. They're grains. I think. Yeah. Good dog. Nice dog. <laughs> okay, that hyena is not friendly. Oh, I never even picked up the shovel. <laughs> Not that it would matter. Right, so basically I'm dead. Okay. Because I'm not going to survive the walk back, that's for sure. Mm, let's go ahead and take a peek at the walkthrough. I mean, they've already introduced one absurd and obnoxious mechanic of the stress mechanic. And now there's a thirst and a hunger one? Just, no. Oh. Apparently I'm supposed to make popcorn. 
That's what the satellite dish is for. Why am I making popcorn, you ask? I don't know. I guess for food? I'm not dying of food. Like a food, though. I think I'm dying of thirst. A dig a dig master 3000? 1000 times more advanced than a dig master 2000. 100% point here. Dig master Okay, well, I do see a wet spot. Like, can I dig into the sand or something? No, it isn't even a hot spot to do anything with. Or, wait, what is he doing? Yeah, nope. Let's make some popcorn. Why is he going to the left? You, oh, you're going around the back? Okay. Not really sure why going around the back was more efficient than going around the front. My corn kernel. I guess they can. Go. Is it? Ah, there we go. I'm. I'm sorry. What? I placed a couple of kernels in there, and now I've made an uh, whatever. Oh, whatever, don't think about it. I have some crap. Fabulous. Look. It was timed. That was timed. <sighs> I really wish instead of being timed, it was oregano. Had to be timed. I guess they can. Popcorn could use some salt. You are no longer hungry. Yay! It doesn't even matter. I still need water. Which actually I'm about to get. Here's my pocket full of unlimited kernels. I've placed some of my <laughs> Yes, Smoobie Giblet. Okay, so in other words, I have an unlimited source of drink and food. Gotcha. Now we can actually explore. Be nice if I could take it with me, though. The food or the water. But looks like I just have to come back here. So I've already talked to this guy, there's no point. Let me see if this is a thing. Doesn't seem to be. And what about this? Nope. This statue didn't mean to go there. You know, it's strange. It looks like my food and water, uh, my food and thirst is going up really slowly. There we go. It's more weird slime. It's probably not actually slime, it just looks like it. Okay, well I know it's off to the right. Let's go down. Okay, I'm just gonna wander off into the desert. Cause why not? Yeah, in fact, it doesn't look like my hunger and thirst are going up at all. Is it bugged? Not that I would complain, to be honest. I would love it if they didn't.
Okay, there's the pathway with the invisible hyena. And that looks like a guard tower from Age of Empires. Let's hope it hasn't been upgraded to shoot cannonballs instead of arrows. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Can I go off to the left up here? No. I guess go back to the hyena and see if I can hit it over the head with a shovel. Seems unlikely. Rough, rough, rough. Never. Okay then. Right, that's the only thing here. Hmm. Okay then. So, what do I do? I feel like there has to be something to do with this guy up here. I can't actually interact with the statue, though. Do you speak? Yes. What is this? This is Gamma. As it is said. What is this? It is. Tell me. Mm -hmm. Already heard Tell this. Me. Tell me about. Talk to you. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I'm looking at the walkthrough, by the way. <sighs> this statue. <sighs> Where is it? There it is. I don't even... Can you hear my sigh of... depression? I laughed when I first heard the name of this thing, the... God of Gamma. Something to do with lumens and light and whatnot. Like, yeah, Gamma's a setting in, you know, games. Of course. But changing the setting to progress? Okay. It's the kind of thing that sounds like it'd be cool. Like, yeah, you have to actually, it's so meta, you have to go into the settings to actually progress in the puzzle. That sounds cool. And execution here? It's not. It's really not. When there's light again, I should take a close look at that spot. Okay. So, in other words, turn the gamma back up and dig. Let's... Here, I'll just turn it all the way up. For the lols. Because fuck you. Okay. Hmm. Eh, eh, eh. I saw something. Ghost sighting. I found searing retinas. Oh wait, those are mine. All right, it's a bone. Mm -hmm. And then I give it to the hyena, of course, because it's dog height. Yep, yeah, bones. Ah. 
Actually, I just had a thought. Are he are hyenas actually canines? <gasps> are they? Or are they not? They certainly seem dog-like, but are they actually canines? I must know, but I also must save first. Let's find out. Hold on. Clicked out of the game now. Let's look up hyenas. Hmm... Oh god, there's going to be a lot of scientific names, and I'm probably not going to be able to make sense of it. Let's see, they're behaviorally and morphologically similar to canines in several aspects. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. However, they have some differences. So it sounds like they're not. Let me control F for canine. Mm-hmm. Right, it sounds like they're actually not canines. There's your facts for the day. Now I'm going to stick my bone in this hyena's mouth and hope my day improves. Okay, boy. I've got a nice treat for you. You want this bone? Go get it! That doesn't look anything like an actual hyena. It looks like a Pokemon. There's gotta be some sort of a... Easter egg out in the desert. The hell? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, it's only got 100 hit points, and it's also tiny. I'm huge, and I have 300. I'm gonna say classify. Hmm. Yes, get closer to the scorpion that has a stinging touch. You are a scorpion! <laughs> It did no damage. Okay, what is it gonna do to me? A skitter. Zero damage. Okay, we're off to a good start. Now I'm gonna educate you, Scorpion. Yeah. Okay, so can anybody tell me what the core themes of Catch and Narai are? It's about grains. Anybody at all? That didn't work either. Okay. What does it got for me? Come on, Scorpion, bring it on. Bring it on. Again, okay. I'm gonna crush you. Because you're a Scorpion. And I have shoes. <laughs> um, I think it worked. I have to walk back to... There we go. Best boss fight of the year. I think that's actually my favorite part of the entire game so far. There's some sort of invisible barrier here. Ooh, my hunger and thirst are going up very fast. In incredibly fast. Why are they going up so fast? Like, I'm about to die. Kind of fast. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, I don't really... I'm about to die in, like, two seconds, right? Oh. Rufsawin Shrevnik. Um, 
Do you speak any English? Show me your passport. I have to wonder, is there any point in actually surviving this encounter? Because I'm just going to die like a half second after. So I'm just going to do this and just go straight there. Because I don't want to get through a whole encounter just to die right after I leave it. Yeah, that hyena actually looks adorable. <laughs> okay, this again. Well, now I know... This is like Dark Souls, right? I've figured out the weakness of this enemy, of this boss. Wonderful. Alright, let's hope my hunger and thirst increasing were not scripted. Um, oh, it looks like they are scripted. In that case, at least I'll just go straight there. So my thirst won't be too high, it's still gonna be pretty high. <laughs> you can even see the car hiding behind cactus. Or cacti, I guess. Okay, you said Shrevnik, which means... Passport. Do you speak any English? Show me your passport! Can do. I better save. What purpose do you have here? Well, sir, I came here because I love cocks. You seriously have the best roosters in all the lands. All of the lands. I mean, all two dozen lands. You have the best. Hmm. <sighs> Seeking work, tourism, or business. Okay, well, they're probably going to prey on tourists. Um, if I'm here for business, they'd probably rob me. So I'm, th I'm thinking either seeking work or birth certificate. Hmm. Which one should I go with? Let's go seeking work. I'm looking for work. Your temporary visa does not permit you to work in Chickenistan. Looking for work here is illegal. You understand it's crime to take job from Chickenistan a worker. Hmm. Fifty percent chance if I change the story, or I can deflect or rationalize. I'm gonna deflect it. <laughs> uh, that is funny, but I'm not here to take your jobs. I am looking to make business with the peoples of Jakenistan. And what business do you have? Ah, you see, I am a... I can say I'm a sailor. I'm a sailor in the desert looking for people to do business with. In the desert. Yes. Hmm. I think a veterinarian makes the most sense. Yes, I want to work with them and improve the health of their chickens animal veterinarian. You won't find any farms on this side of the country. You're a long way from cows and pigs, sir. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, what? He says he thinks you're a western spy. I do not believe your story. You know what? I'm gonna fuck you up, you piece of shit. I have many powerful friends who know I'm here. If you shoot an unarmed Canadian in the desert, it will only hurt your cause. Shut up! Hmm. 
<laughs> I think it worked. Or maybe not. What, Bob? Okay, well, what did I say on my passport? I said vacation, right? I think. So, tourist? I'm a tourist. You're a tourist? Where are you planning on going? Hmm. Hmm. So, I, I don't know. The Citadel? I am going to the Citadel at Burge. Burge Citadel is 80 miles west of here. Long well, you better let me keep walking. You're in the wrong place. Oh my god. He says he thinks so. Do I really have anything to bribe him with? Uh, I guess I'll beg. Please, you've got to let me go. I am a broken man on a mission to restore his identity. I am not a spy. I have no interest in your country. I just need my birth certificate and then I will go. Please, just let me go on my way. I'm begging you. That was impressive. Okay, you can go. <laughs> really? You're letting me go? Thank you. Okay, sweet. And thank you for not shooting me in the back, too. I was thinking about that. Wait, and now my hunger and thirst are low again, and now they're going- what the- My hunger and thirst went down again. If I don't find some water here, I'm not gonna make it. Alright, well I just- uh, Apparently the car was actually not the, uh, the people I just talked to. That's someone else. It's making a weird noise. What the hell is that? Okay, it sounds like it's closer. Another one. Okay, sounds like it's center panned now. Can I go down? Yes, I can. That's the puzzle, isn't it? Okay. Follow the sound, basically. Gotcha. I've done this before. It's an ostrich. Do they actually make those noises? I don't know. I could use some water. Mm -hmm. You are no longer thirsty. In fact, I'll drink some water too. Ah. Oh, I wanted. I guess I should have talked to the. Ostrich and stuff first. And already I'm incredibly thirsty again. The government archives should be located at the top of this mountain. Alright, goody. Let me guess, I'm gonna fall off to my death. It's four hours later. My God, how high is this thing? So wait, he was gonna die of thirst in like two seconds in the desert, but he can walk for hours. Oh, for f sake! When did I lose a shoe? Wait, when did he regain Why? his shoe? What? 
anything so high. I want to know how whoever lives here gets, or not lives here, but whoever works here, how they get to and from work. Like, do they have a helicopter landing pad off to the side somewhere? Also, I think I ran out of digits I can put here. I did. Okay. So, I need to... Yeah. Let's... Let's start with the sixes. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. Do you think this is a gigantic bush? Or a line of bushes? Or... The more plausible explanation, I think, is that it's a gigantic, fluffy, peach-colored caterpillar. It's a desert caterpillar. I'm gonna pet it. Can I pet it? Can I ride it? Can I ride it all the way back down? Hi. Is this the government archives? Do you speak English? Welcome home, chosen one. Uh, this what? is not my home. This is not your home, but Chekanistan was your home long before you were able to remember. What do you mean by chosen one? Two people with pure hearts, Liam and Wendy, made a voyage across both land and sea. Oh god, no. They find a single toddler and offer him a better life than he would have known otherwise. Please no riddle. In a sense, all of our adopted children are chosen ones. Oh. You too have made a voyage of your own. You have overcome many obstacles to stand here before me. But your greatest challenge, I fear, is still ahead of you. Perhaps out of fear or vanity, the ancient covenant of the old god has been broken. Now it is not just your life, but the eternal struggle between order and chaos that hangs in the balance. You, chosen one, must restore the covenant before it is too late. You have lost your papers, but not your identity. You know who you are, David, but this will help them know who you are too. Neato. It's my birth certificate. But let me guess, I have to answer, answer some sort of a stupid riddle first. Hmm. Hmm. My birth certificate! Restore your identity. Restore the covenant, David. Who are you? I am the Master Archivist of Chikanistan. I serve Emperor Rooster I, just as I served King Capricius IV before him, and just as I shall serve the next 10,000 kings to come, until I am able to retire with a full pension. Well, I really appreciate this. I'm gonna go catch my flight home. Good luck with... All this. Come on, it can't be that simple, right? There's no way. Come on. Come on. Wait, why is my objective still obtain my birth certificate? I already have it. It's right here. I just save it? I might have just saved it. I'm gonna save it again. I really want to ride this giant caterpillar down, down the hill. Hmm, apparently I can. I bet it even tastes like peaches. Hmm, I can just imagine licking it right now. Oh, I guess it actually wasn't that simple. Ah, 
all foreign items must be declared. I do declare that I have foreign items. Okay, I'm good. Goodbye. <laughs> and of course, I have to walk all the way to the right and then all the way to the left. I can't take the sign. All right, so there are three officers currently on duty. One always tells the truth and will let you enter the country if you answer their questions truthfully. <sighs> Another always lies, and a third speaks a mixture of truth and lies. No matter what you say, they will have you forcibly detained. Choose wisely. Well, this game just jumped the shark. Oh no, it didn't. Oh no, wait. What does this fine print say? They did that a long time ago. And don't bother saving and reloading. It will randomize every time. I was about to say... Cute. I was about to say that, uh... Yeah, it's not so much choose wisely as just... Save and reload until you figure it out, but... Apparently not. Assuming it actually is randomized. Maybe that's just a trick. Right, so this puzzle seems like torture, but I'll give it a shot. I will give it a shot. And then once I've given it, uh, once I've given it a bunch of shots, I'm going to dump the body in a swamp for the sharks. I mean, alligators. I suppose you could have sharks in a, you know, in a swamp, but I think alligators are more plausible. How hard can this be? I'm a Canadian. Oh, Jesus. Um. <sighs> okay, so what is it? One that always tells the truth, one that always lies, one that tells a mixture? And will detain you no matter what? So? Are you the only office- are you the officer who only speaks the truth? So if it's a liar, they will say, yes. If it's the truth teller, they will say yes. If it's the mixture, then I have no idea. Hmm. I are you the officer who only speaks the truth? Yes, I am. Okay. Are you the only op the officer who only speaks the truth? Yes, I am. Are you the officer who only speaks the truth? Yes, I am. <sighs> okay. No, I am not. You don't tell lies. No, I... Okay. Well, this is narrowing it down absolutely not at all. No, I... <laughs> okay. Is there an officer who only speaks the truth in the lineup? I don't believe so. Okay, so you are not the one that always tells the truth. Yeah, you're either the one that always lies, or the one that does a mixture of both. There is. Okay, could be you. Yes, there is. So, one of these two. What do I do with them once I figure out who's the one? I'm looking for the one that tells the truth, right? I'm assuming. Hmm. From my perspective, is the officer who speaks a mixture of truth and lies to the left of the liar? Well, that's not really useful because the liar is all the way to the left. Well, it could be the one that speaks a mixture, too. No, actually, it would have to be the liar, wouldn't it? Or I, th I don't know. To the right of the liar? I believe so. Okay, so that would make it you. I don't believe so. Hmm. Hmm. 
This is making my brain hurt. It's one of the two ones on the right. I believe so. That means she was saying that she is the one that tells a mixture. I don't know. I'll go with her. Hello. Okay then. Pass. Are you bringing back any foreign currency? Hmm. No. Am I? Do I still have the kernels? Is that a foreign current? I'm gonna say no. So I'm not going to find any little foreign kernels on you right now. Okay, so it does count. I'd like what to change my answer. A few kernels of corn. Okay. Have you come into contact with any animals while in Chikinistan? Mm-hmm. Yes, a dog and a scorpion. Okay. It wasn't a dog. It Are was a you hyena. Bringing any seeds or plants into the country? Well, the corn kernels would be, yeah. Yes, I have those same kernels of corn. Okay. All right. That's everything I need to hear. Welcome back to Canada. Please exit to your right. Okay. I guess I got kind of lucky. I certainly eliminated him as being the one. It was one of these two. I wasn't sure which one. I went with one and, well, 50-50 chance. <laughs> Who wears a V2 shirt? Lame. Okay, so... I've got everything I need, right? So, time to go to the disc? like to obtain a writ of mm -hmm. well, six five before we can restore your identity we of do course. you have your original birth certificate yes i do and do you have your certificate of life yes i do wonderful this won't take a minute i'm counting joan i'm happy to speak to this client if you want to take a coffee break So kindly give me your birth certificate, we can begin. Right, I feel like you're gonna steal it, because you seem like a sleazy sleazy douchebag. Uh but okay. Wait a minute. What if I just go in the back right now? Oh. That's what happens. Nothing, because you can't. And your certificate of life. Thank you. You've been very persistent, David. I can only imagine how hard it was for you to obtain these. I only wish it hadn't come to this. There's no way for you to understand. I'm sorry. What have you done? <laughs> ah, okay. Silently, silently accept defeat. Come on, you didn't really expect everything to go perfectly smoothly from here on out, right? Come on. Bureaucracy is expanding to meet the needs of the expanding bureaucracy. Bureaucrats to take care of more bureaucrats. I don't need this. 